Welcome to San Antonio, Texas. We are here for just a few hours and I wanted to show you one of the coolest, coolest properties, one of the coolest penthouses in all the great state of Texas. You thought we'd show you a ranch, uh-uh. You have no idea what I'm about to show you in this old converted candy warehouse. And I just illegally climbed to the top of this water tower. So I will meet you back downstairs. Welcome to a new property tour. Welcome to a new vlog, let's go. All right, so now we are back inside. That was cool though, right? I mean, kind of. We've never started a property tour on a water tower. Don't tell my wife, slightly scary. But this is a triplex penthouse in one of the coolest condominium conversions in the United States. This building was originally an old candy factory. It was built in 1929 and then Candy business in San Antonio just didn't last, didn't last for the Great Depression, sat vacant for many, many years. Long, long story short, eventually bought in 2001, eventually reconverted into residential space. And this is the penthouse, 15,000 square feet over two floors, more bedrooms and bathrooms than we can count, and so many cool things to go through. And it doubles as an art gallery. So you're about to see some of the craziest modern art, contemporary art, classic art, abstract art that you've ever seen in any one of our property tours. This is one of the sickest places you're gonna see in the state of Texas and Texans know how to do it. So we are on the first floor now. Main entryway via a couple different elevators right over here. Obviously, some of these art pieces are huge. And so you have a freight elevator as well. And then look how high these ceilings are. And look, look, look at this piece of art. It's just, I mean, just imagine having this in your living room. Massive open space, but also residential living. TVs, this is your main dining room. This is a working fireplace that bends to the outside. I love some of this stuff. You have the massive Playboy bunny. You've got an amazing piece of art here if you want to come see it. This is a Mark Bradford piece. Really, really cool, really cool history. You can Google them and you can look at them up. There's some really, really special art in this space. So if you're an art collector, you have a client who is an art collector and is really thinking Texas for lots of reasons, as many people are right now, this is insane. Some of the best views that you can get in all of Texas, right in the heart of San Antonio. But this is all to show you how industrially cool this space is and how it's flexible. This could be anything you want it to be. The floors are an epoxy, there's a poured concrete below. You've got these massive beams throughout. You've got your breakfast space, you've got your kitchen, which I'm gonna show you, and then check this out. The formal living space. Well, at least that's what I'm calling it. We've got skeletons, we've got fins. This is me actually. Could you do like a cool thing where I'm just standing like this, just humble, and maybe like, just maybe do like a slow pan? Yeah, let's just do that right now. Ready, walk by. Nice. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Look how tall this drum set is. Isn't this cool? This is insane. Like. This is super cool. This is a, a really, really famous art installation. It's traveled all over the world. It's about to go to another show right now, but it's set up here in this skylight section, which I just think is a lot of fun. But it just goes to show you what you can do with a space like this. Typically, I'm talking about the wood floors. We're talking about the moldings. We're talking about maybe the furniture here. It's art on art on art on art with all these windows, all this light out over San Antonio, Texas. Big open living space, again, so much light. And then this, so this, the army, this is actually, if you can see this thing, this is something that they would fill with medical equipment, latch it all up, wrap it up, and then they drop it out of an airplane into the jungle with a parachute on it to give like med backs, you know? You know, you played Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, you know what I mean? And then now it's used as a huge, awesome, like credenza for a TV. Maybe one of my favorite pieces here. And then around this corner, we've got our home office and our kitchen. The most normal room in the whole apartment. The apartment is very normal, but this is a classic kitchen, a beautiful white kitchen, durable, 
as all hell. This is a travertine countertop, so you can do whatever you want here. It's a great prep kitchen. It's a great chef's kitchen. It's a great family kitchen. This is a 10 foot island for bar stools. Your cereal is in here. You're hanging out in here. You have multiple sinks, stoves, ovens, everything. It's huge. You get your cappuccino, all the appliances you could ever want, and it works really, really well. But there's a lot more to see in this place. Actually, let's go see the primary suite. Now, off the living room, you have an exterior staircase if you need it. You've got personal private outdoor space, and then this is your primary suite. Off to my right, you have huge closet space, a gorgeous primary bathroom that has a double height skylight that goes all the way up to the roof for all the natural light you could possibly need. And then this whole thing is your primary. Big open sitting area, and then you've got this two-sided fireplace, so you're getting warmth over here, warmth over there. Let's go up to the second floor. Oh, this door is so big and heavy. I was totally expecting that to happen so much faster, but it didn't. Welcome to the second floor. Up here you have an additional 7,500 square feet, four bedrooms, and as you can see, lots and lots and lots of windows. I mean, there's so much stuff to talk about in this apartment. First of all, like what are these? You know, art, sometimes you see it and you say, that's a painting of a landscape, I totally get it. And there's a really cool painting I wanna show you in one of the guest bedrooms coming up. But then these, are, these look like bombs, don't they? Like huge bombs, like maybe in a video game or something, but they have like little latches on them. Maybe you could like put toys in there. I don't know. I don't even know what this is a photo of. This is kind of cool and abstract. It's kind of playing with negative space. Cody just said that's a co Cody just said that's a coconut. But when you're walking by it really, really quickly, you don't know, it could, be, it could be anything, you know? Everything is pretty cool. I guess that's the inside of a coconut. Okay, I see it now. I get it, I get it. The owner of this space, this is, these are his works. He owns these works, he shows these works, he travels with them, and obviously he's done incredibly well because this space is on the market for $7.25 million. One of the most expensive properties on the market in all of San Antonio, and now you know why. Now before we go behind me, which, don't look, don't look into the room that is insane that we are calling the double cube room, which is like mind blowing as to what's here in this penthouse. I wanna take a moment and I wanna thank our sponsor of this video, Dell, specifically for their Dell Latitude 9420 powered by Intel V Pro. Wait, so that's how we're doing this? Yeah, why not? I mean, it's just a little cliche, you know, like it shouldn't feel like an ad. Well, how else do you want to tell people about the latitude? I mean, Dell is always innovating, you know, and, and so are we. We just have to find a new, unique way to let people know about Dell's most powerful 14-inch laptop. And also that it's powered by Intel technology so that you can work at the speed of thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, with the new 11th gen Intel processors, it's the most powerful latitude they've ever made. Plus, with the IPU6 technology, the image quality, on the 9420 is insane. Especially in difficult lighting with Intel visual sensing technology that powers the auto wake, dim, and lock feature. Exactly. The Latitude is the perfect 14 inch laptop. Uh, we'll figure it out. Let's just keep watching. You know what? Let's just keep going. I'm gonna tell you how awesome Dell is later. Come on. The double cube room. Now you could do so much in this room. Now this could be a basketball court, half basketball court. This would be an insane VR room. We're doing so much with virtual reality right now. This would be crazy. Could you imagine putting on the headset right now and going crazy and you'd set your boundaries as like this whole room? That would be nuts. You could do so much here. This could be an in-house cinema. This could be an in-house gym if you wanted it to be. You could put a whole other floor up here if you wanted to. You have to check code, but it's potentially possible. What? It's art. The reason we call this the double cube room is because a cube for this room, for art, 19 by 19 by 19, and there are two of them like back to back. So you could section these off if you want and do one art gallery viewing space over there with that entryway and another one here. Or you just leave it like this because it's baller. It's insane, follow me. And then at the other end of the second floor, we have 
<laughs> more square footage, more space. Now this could be its own separate apartment. And there is other space in here that we just don't have access to right now that has other bedrooms, that has other bathrooms, other living space. But this is really kind of like the money. This is where you want to be. You don't want a ranch. Like you don't want to be out there, you know, mowing with the cattle. Like you want to be up here. This is Texas meets Tribeca. This is Texas meets Soho. Super, super cool. And Cody and I were just talking about, like if we were in a band, this is totally where we would film a music video. Just because of like the white on the white on the white and the high ceilings and all the natural light, super insane. Big open dining space again. And obviously all of this stuff is, is art. The same person downstairs who did the art with all the wood, you know, we saw with the wood sticking out, also did this space. Really likes working with textures, three dimensions, really, really fun. This stuff is so expensive and they let us up here by ourselves. I guess I'm reputable and I'm not gonna break anything, but I mean, at the same time, like look at this, look how crazy this thing is. Like, I don't even know, like how do you paint blur? I don't know. I kind of feel like this is one of those moments, like you know Ferris Bueller's Day Off? I'm just like standing here. Go, can we do a montage of me just standing in front of the art? Okay, that's it. Enough Ferris Bueller art montage. You get it. Now we're in one of the guest bedrooms. Some really cool things in here. For one, Cody is now filming me standing in a bed. Very minimalist here. Full on bathroom, living room space here. That is actually a space that when we first walked through, we had no idea what that was. It just looked like some blobs on the wall. And when you pull back, you realize that it's LeBron James. And then there's a little living room here. Well, I guess this could be living and then this could be bedroom. Another bathroom, and then we have this thing. Now, I don't know, but the one question I'm gonna ask you all, in the comments, would you sleep on this bed with that ostrich right above you? Now, the art doesn't come with the property, so when you buy this or sell this, don't worry, but would you sleep knowing that you could wake up and just be like, oh man, what a dream! Let's go to the roof. And then we're on the roof, the roof in Texas. That's where we are. You've got downtown San Antonio right there. You've got the rolling plains, you've got the stadium, everything. And then you've got these amazing, amazing water tower. And you've got 7,500 square feet of roof space. That's the floor plate of the building. You have the whole roof. This penthouse that's on the market now for $7,250,000 is the top three floors, technically. And then this pumps up. Remember the double cube? Remember the double cube? Double cube, remember? That's right here. Let's go upstairs, come on. You've got so much entertaining space out here. You've got another bulkhead over here. You've got an outdoor kitchen, hot tub, plunge pool, and then all of the outdoor entertaining space you could possibly want. Now it is winter, we are here in the winter, but it's a Texas winter, so it's nice. This is very, very comfortable, but we don't have the outdoor space all set up and decked out. And that's where I started up there. I cannot believe I climbed up that thing. And that's it. That is the penthouse of 114 Camp Street in San Antonio, Texas. 15,000 square feet over two floors inside. And you've got 7,500 square feet of outdoor space up here on the roof. Plus you can do whatever you want to this water tower. Can't take it down, but it's out of commission. You can paint it, go crazy. It's awesome. This place is so cool. I'm so excited you got to see it. Thank you so much for watching.